Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a water marble my way. You'll see what I mean. Let's get into it. I really hope you like it. Now I'll be using my Pure Colour 7 Nail Art Water Marbler, which is my fabulous tool, but you can use a pen or a toothpick or anything like that. Uh, but I just have this, so I might as well use it. I really like it though, it's really fun. Uh, I've taped up my nails and I've painted every one of them with white nail polish. And in actual fact, it was picture polish, bright white. Now also, Shock Horror, the water I'm using to create my water marble is basic tap water. Now, um, someone did mention something about the water quality in their area. Uh, yeah, you might want to check out your water quality, but I don't want to tell you to go out and buy special water when I don't think it's really necessary. If you've got reasonably good water, I don't really think anything like fluoride or those sorts of chemicals in your water make any difference to water marbling at all. My opinion, and this is just my opinion, is that it's the temperature of your water and that's it. Not warm, not cold, like tepid. To start with, I'm using uh, all picture polish polishes today, bright white, sizzle, unicorn and their black, which is just called black. And you can see that uh, unicorn actually has quite a few glitter glitters in it, but it still seems to be water marbling, although it's a very thin glitter uh, and the base is quite thin. I think it's like a light, uh, very, very, very light green. And so you can see that dries a lot faster and so I, I don't know. I just decided to start making things up as I go along and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this is what I started to do. I don't know, I was going to make a, an actual pattern but then I changed my mind and then I started adding polish to it after I'd already played with it. And it kind of works out, I don't know, some people may not like this but I think it looks really cool. And you can just have a little bit of fun and I think this is probably a really good way for you to get to know water marbling. Even like not mucking around trying to do flowers or you know particular designs or anything just have a play with the polish in the water and see how it works and see how some polishes work and you know some don't and this that and the other you can see I've got a water bubble there but that's all right it's all part of the design I didn't mean for it to happen but if it happens and it looks cool then no big deal so I think really it's so important because people just think water marble is really this mythical beast and they couldn't possibly master it and you can, you just need to make it your you know what and not worry about it too much. It's like, just have fun with it. Have a play. That's what I do. And sometimes it works and as I said, sometimes it doesn't. But what's the big deal? Are there It's only a couple of drops of polish. You're not wasting a whole bottle. You're really not. So as you can see with this one, I got super brave and I just started putting drops everywhere, all over the water. I didn't really care. It was like I was making these little green and uh, green eggs and ham. <laughs> but seriously, like you need to do it this way or you need to try and do it something similar to this to begin with so that it doesn't seem so daunting in the future. And later on you can do all of your flowers and daisies and pinwheels and this, that and the other. Because I mean, I don't, I don't blame anyone for not wanting to do this because there's a lot of prep time and, and it just seems like, oh, I can't get it to spread and can't get it to do this and can't get it to do that. Just, you just need to stop stressing and worrying about it and just start playing with it.
Now, someone on uh, YouTube earlier last week or the week before asked about how to take the tape off, and I know this could be a little bit scary, especially uh, if this is your first time. Um, I just cut up lengthways up on my finger and then peel it back. Make sure you don't try and peel it forward because you don't want to ruin your gorgeous design. So peel it back and then you, you should be fine. Taken off your tape, you're almost certainly going to need to do some cleanup. I'm using my Revlon Angled Eyeshadow Brush and some non-acetone remover. You can use acetone to do this, but I just prefer to use non-acetone remover. Don't forget to seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual. And I just love this design. It's really different. It's kind of wacky. And, you know, sometimes it works. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.